நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொரிந்தியன்ஸ் சாப்டர் 16 வெர்ஸ் 9 because a great door for effective work has opened to me and there are many who oppose me a great door open and at the same time a door to enmity was also open both these doors will exist in our life it is part of our call we are destined to endure all these things in second timothy chapter 3 verse 12 we read in fact Everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Godly life will attract persecution. When you walk faithfully, there will be suffering. When you are faithful in your office, there will be challenges and sufferings from unfaithful people. In schools and colleges, when God's children strive to live a life pleasing to God, there will be temptation, suffering, and challenges. people who faithfully serve the lord will face pressure from those who minister as they please this is inevitable that's what we read in second timothy everyone who wants to live a godly life in christ jesus will be persecuted are you facing challenges suffering persecution or humiliation because of your faithfulness brother and sister this is inevitable there is no end to it Jesus himself has spoken about this. Let us hold fast to that unforgettable verse from John chapter 16 verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. The Lord assures you today that your life will not begin and end in persecution. There will be victory. Jesus will give you victory amidst those persecutions. People will see and marvel at it. The Prince of Peace, the victorious Christ, the one who defeated the valley of darkness is with us. The one who overcame demons and sickness is by our side. He is within you. Remember this, the Christ who is within you is greater than this world. You will be victorious. All your efforts will yield good results. Lord says, He knows the path you are walking and He knows how it is going to end. It will be victorious because the Lord Himself is with you. Let me say something to you. The suffering, persecution and distress are not in our life by chance or bad luck. No, it's not. It may look like it is just an unfortunate thing at a bad time. But always remember that everything was predestined and allowed by God to happen in your life. Dear children of God, if you stand firm at the center of God's will, nothing can just like that come and overpower or overwhelm you. There will be a great plan behind you. God's plan is not to harm you, but to prosper you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you.